Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today, April and I will be testing out the McCart Polygel Kit, which is the best-selling polygel kit on Amazon. We'll have a direct link for you guys in the description box below. So the first thing that we noticed is that it came in this nice big box, and inside there was a dual-ended nail brush and spatula, six tubes of polygel in different natural pink shades, plus clear and white, a nail file, a base and gel top coat, 60 dual forms in 12 different sizes, and an instruction booklet that will show you exactly how to use these products on your nails with both text and photos. So now we're going to test out how the product applies, see what the finished nails look like, plus we're going to wear it for two weeks to see how it holds up, and finally we're going to show the removal process. So let's get started. The first step is to prep your nails for the polygel application. We're going to start by gently pushing back our cuticles. Next up, we're using the nail file from the kit. This file is double-sided with a 240 grit for natural nails and a 120 for using on the hardened polygel. So with the soft 240 side, we're going to make the nail matte and file off any extra length. It's important to make sure that your nails are matte so the polygel adheres properly to your nail bed. Next, remove any dust from your nails with rubbing alcohol. Next, take the base gel from the kit and apply a thin layer over the whole nail. Cure it for one minute in an LED lamp. Now it's time for the polygel. We're going to be using the shade called Natural Pink. We're also going to need the brush, which has the spatula on the other side, and the dual forms. Now you need to choose the right size dual form for your nails. You're going to be looking for the one that's slightly larger than the size of your nail. For the slip solution, which will help us shape the polygel, we're just going to use some rubbing alcohol. Squeeze a good amount of the polygel from the tube and then slice it off using the spatula side of the brush. Transfer it over to the dual form. Next, dip your brush into the rubbing alcohol and begin forming the polygel into a smooth nail shape. You don't want it to be too thick, nor do you want it to be too thin. This thickness is perfect. Press the dual form onto your nail and then flip your hand around to smooth out and lengthen the tip. Now you're ready to cure the nail for one minute under an LED lamp. We get a lot of questions asking if this step is necessary and if you have to have a nail lamp and the answer is yes, if you don't cure the polygel, it won't dry. After that, you can carefully pop off the form. This moment is so satisfying to watch. This McCart polygel looks great. It's crazy guys how fast and easy it is these days to have nail extensions by using polygel. To finish off and perfect the nails, you need to first remove the sticky layer from and under the nail using rubbing alcohol. Then with the hard 120 side of the nail file, shape the tip and the sides. You can also remove any excess polygel from the cuticle area if necessary. Once you're happy with the shape, clean off any dust with rubbing alcohol, and then apply the top coat that comes in the polygel kit. Cure it in the lamp for one more minute and you are all done. Now you can apply some cuticle oil to perfect your manicure if you like. Overall, we thought this polygel kit from McCart was awesome. It was super easy to apply, the finished result looked absolutely gorgeous, and it's a great price on Amazon for all the products and the tools you get in it. Guys, there's six whole tubes of polygel in this kit. I think that's just so much. It also held up and lasted perfectly. Here are the same nails two weeks later. We'll have a link for you guys in the description box below in case you're interested in checking out this polygel kit for yourself. Now you're probably wondering how to remove polygel, so we also have a quick demo on that for you. Begin by cutting off the excess length of your nails. Next, you have two options. First, if you own an electric drill, you can speed up the removal process by using it to file off most of the polygel. But be sure to leave a thin layer of the polygel over your nail to soak off later. You won't want to go all the way down to your natural nail because that could damage it. The second option is to file off the majority of it manually with a regular nail file. This will take a little longer, but it works too. Now we're going to soak off the remainder of the polygel using acetone, cotton, and tin foil. So set a timer for 15 minutes and then wait for it to soak off. Once the timer is up, you can push the rest of the polygel off your nails. Buff your nails to smooth them out and clean off any dust with rubbing alcohol. 
Then add some cuticle oil to moisturize your nails and the removal process is complete. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to Cute Polish, click that subscribe button for a new video every week. And be sure to check out April's personal nail channel. It'll be linked below. Take care and we'll see you next time.